coaches. We're here just looking at filler games for the Starters Coach Series. This is the classic Rats and Rabbits. Let's see how it works. Rabbits! Just a bit of fun for the boys. Three, two, one. Rats! So coaches, just one of those, those drills about agility getting up running away as fast as you can. Someone getting up and chasing a person. Just changing the point of the start, little variations, uh, starting on your back as well as your stomach. You can make variations with this game by putting socks and things in the back of jerseys, just so uh, they've got a target to actually get. When I call your number, this team is versus this team. If I call ones, both ones got to get up, run round, round the, the man who's the post, come through the middle, I'm going to roll two balls. You've got to scoop one up. First person to score a try wins. Gentlemen, when we're picking up a ball, the lower we get, the better. The closer we get our feet to the ball, the better. Up two hands is always the safest. OK, let's have a look. Ready? Eight. <laughs> Scored it. Nice. Winner, champion. We're just going to make a small alteration now. I'm going to call two numbers. If, if I call one and two, the, the first team that comes out is going to dive on the ball. You're going to dive on your ball, and you're going to pop it up to the other person in your team, and they're going to race to score. Gentlemen, what are some of the key points we have to do? Communication, who's going to be diving, and who's going to be following on? What does the support player have to do? Communicate, name and action. So it could be Josh, pop. It could be Josh, hold it, okay? You also have to keep your depth, gentlemen. If you're too early, he's not gonna be able to get that pass away. Two, three. Coaches here, we're just looking at um, a bit of support play, throwing it into a fun game. Try! Let's keep up that volume. Okay, gentlemen, good stuff. Ready, let's hear the volume, fellas. Let's hear the call. 10-1. Really good example here, just the pass went a little bit astray. So even though we're popping off the ground, we still need to keep our eyes open and watching. Same thing, now we've just got to jump over those bags as well. I only want two ways of scoring a try. Okay, I want two hands putting the ball down or diving, but you've got to have the ball secured, okay? Some of you are slowing down and putting it down with one hand. Why is that not great? You can knock it on, and once you're over that try line, you never want to lose that ball until it's down. Okay, so now we're going to go to three, gentlemen. First person is going to dive on the ball. Second person is going to play halfback and just pick it up. The third person is going to time his run and hit it fast, okay? Right, things are, things are getting a little bit uh, excitable as they do with games, so I'm just going to send the boys away and we'll come back in two minutes to start again. Okay, gentlemen, can we all run round the posts and back? What we're doing here is just trying to disguise some of the fundamentals of the rugby. The pick up, the dive on the ball, the, the offload, but also that communication that runs through the entirety of it is really important. So to put in this environment here with a bit of fun, a lot of competition, they're learning skills and they don't even realise they're learning them. Coaches, this is just a little speed drill which our players really enjoy. One player is starting here, he's versus his opposite over the other corner, and it's just a straight race for the line. If he's got good pace, he'll get there. If he can't get there, he'll have to use evasion, doing a sidestep, which is great. Just understanding spatial awareness. Oh, nice. Great try. Players, you're not going to score a try purely from speed unless you're really, really sharp. So use your skills, use some steps. OK, so I want to see some amazing footwork. It's quite nice in that uh, players just get an understanding of body awareness, how to turn a player, how to make him overrun, <laughs> and have a bit of fun when they're doing it. Three seconds to score, three, two, oh, great effort. What's happening when this man's running on the side like this? What are his shoulders doing? So if I'm running here and George is running up and I'm doing this, if this was a real game, I'm probably gonna be only tackling with hands, aren't I? Because I can't, I'm going this way. So when you're stepping, step really hard and power through that, okay? Let's have a look, George, let's do a demonstration on me. I'll do this one, ready, George, go. 
Okay, so power through. Let's have a look and see if we can get those nice steps on weak shoulders. Good stuff, gotta keep hold of that ball. These sort of games pick up a lot of different cues. Just there we saw a guy not holding the ball very well and just got tapped out. We've looked here at some of the basic skills. If you go onto the rugby site, have a look around. There's lots of great modules with more advanced stuff. All the fundamentals that's done there can be applied to kids of this age.